The world of art is full of captivating stories and mesmerizing creations, one of them being The Sleeping Gypsy by Henri Rousseau. Henri Rousseau, a self-taught genius from France, stands as a beacon of individualism in the art world. His journey from a toll collector to an acclaimed artist is as fascinating as his art. Known for his primitivist style, Rousseau's paintings are a blend of detailed realism and dreamlike mysticism, making each artwork a unique spectacle. One such spectacle is The Sleeping Gypsy, a painting that was brought to life in the late 19th century. This artwork, nestled comfortably in the genre of post-impressionism, is a vivid display of Rousseau's imaginative prowess. It depicts a tranquil scene of a gypsy asleep under the starlit sky, with a lion silently observing her. As we delve deeper, let's prepare to unravel the intriguing process behind the creation of this masterpiece. Every masterpiece begins with an idea, a spark of inspiration. For Rousseau, the sleeping gypsy was no different. Rousseau's inspiration for this artwork is shrouded in as much mystery as the painting itself, yet it's widely believed that he drew from his fascination for the exotic and the unknown, a theme prevalent in many of his works. The gypsy, an emblem of freedom and wanderlust, represents the allure of the unknown. The lion, on the other hand, symbolizes the inherent dangers that come with it. Together they form a harmonious dichotomy that is both intriguing and thought-provoking. Rousseau's initial sketches reveal a meticulous thought process. He experimented with different positions for the gypsy, ultimately settling on a serene sleeping figure to convey vulnerability. The lion, menacing yet oddly gentle, was carefully positioned to create a sense of impending danger, yet without disturbing the peaceful atmosphere. The composition too was a product of thoughtful deliberation. Rousseau placed the figures under a starry sky, adding a sense of vastness and solitude. The moon casting long shadows further accentuates the surreal quality of the scene. This conceptualization phase was crucial for Rousseau. It allowed him to explore various elements and arrange them in a way that conveyed his intended message. He played with symbols, experimented with composition, and meticulously planned each detail. With the concept in place, Rousseau was ready to bring his vision to life. The transformation of an idea into a tangible work of art is a journey filled with intricacies. This journey began for Henry Rousseau with the first sketches of The Sleeping Gypsy. The initial sketches served as the embryo of the painting, a rough blueprint that was to grow into a masterpiece. Rousseau's sketches were simplistic, yet they held the promise of the enchanting tale that was to unfold on canvas. Once the initial sketches were complete, Rousseau moved on to the next phase, the underpainting. This was a monochromatic version of the painting, a way for the artist to map out the light and dark areas before delving into color. This stage was crucial to the depth and three-dimensionality of the final painting. With the underpainting complete, Rousseau was ready to add color. His choice of colors was both bold and unique. The bright orange of the gypsy's dress against the dark blue night sky created a stark contrast, while the soft greens and yellows of the desert landscape added a sense of serenity. Rousseau's technique was self-taught, and his style was distinct, often referred to as naive or primitive art. He painted in a way that was flat and detailed, giving equal attention to every element on the canvas. However, the journey was not without challenges. Rousseau was a self-taught artist and lacked the formal training of his contemporaries. This lack of training often led to criticism and ridicule. But Rousseau was undeterred. He faced these challenges head-on, using them as fuel to refine his craft. The final touches to the sleeping gypsy were added with a delicate hand. Rousseau's attention to detail was meticulous. Every stroke of his brush brought the painting closer to completion. The lion's mane, the gypsy's face, the desert landscape, each was given the same level of attention and care. And thus, after days of dedication and hard work, the sleeping gypsy was born. The journey from an idea to a tangible work of art was complete. The result was a painting that was unique, enchanting, and a testament to the artist's perseverance and dedication. Once an artwork is complete, it opens itself to the world, ready for interpretation and critique. When The Sleeping Gypsy first graced the public eye, it was met with an array of reactions. Critics initially were divided. Some praised Rousseau's dreamlike imagery and vibrant colors, hailing his distinctive style. Yet others dismissed it as primitive and naive, a reflection of Rousseau's lack of formal training. The public too was intrigued, but not necessarily won over. 
However, as time passed, the scales tilted. The sleeping gypsy began to be seen not as a product of naivety but of a unique and unadulterated vision. Critics started to appreciate Rousseau's boldness in challenging traditional artistic norms, and the public found charm in the painting's mysterious allure. Over the years, the sleeping gypsy has carved a niche for itself. Its vivid tableau and enchanting narrative have captivated audiences, prompting them to delve into the depths of their own imagination. Today, it is considered one of Rousseau's most significant works, a shining beacon of the naive art movement. It hangs proudly in New York's Museum of Modern Art, inviting gazes and stirring thoughts. The Sleeping Gypsy, once dismissed as naive, now stands as a testament to Rousseau's unique vision. It is a reminder that art is not just about technique or training, but about the power to evoke emotion and provoke thought. The Sleeping Gypsy, once a mere concept in Rousseau's mind, now stands as an iconic piece of art history. Our journey through the creation of The Sleeping Gypsy has been nothing short of fascinating. We dove deep into the mind of Henri Rousseau, unearthing the inspiration that led to this remarkable piece. From the arid landscapes of his dreams to the riveting tales of the wild, Rousseau's imagination was a wellspring of creativity. We then journeyed through the meticulous process of creation, understanding the painstaking effort and attention to detail that went into every stroke of his brush. From the initial sketches to the final product, we observed how each element was carefully crafted to form the whole. Finally, we explored the reception of the sleeping gypsy, witnessing the array of reactions that it inspired. From intrigue to admiration, this artwork truly sparked a dialogue, cementing its place in the annals of art history. As we conclude, remember that each artwork carries a story, just like the sleeping gypsy, waiting to be discovered and appreciated.